Hi, welcome to Press Play Picture House, and today we are going to build some mutant dinosaurs. We're going to start with an Indominus Rex torso. Let's try a Tyrannosaurus Rex head. Maybe we'll keep the blue and white theme going. Looks a bit like Avatar when the general gets in the big robot suit. Looks a little bit overweight. So what are we going to call this dinosaur? If we were going to mix an Indominus Rex and a Tyrannosaurus, we could call it Indominus Rex. Huh. Well, we can't call it that. It looks a little bit like a blue tongue lizard. We could call it a blue tongued Tyrannodominus. I like that. How about a blue tongued Tyrannodominus? What do you guys think of mutant dinosaur number one, the blue tongue Tyrannodominus? Mutant dinosaur number two, let's start with a Tyrannosaurus body. Let's put bigger Tyrannosaurus claws on. For that matter, let's put bigger Tyrannosaurus legs on. We may as well put a bigger Tyrannosaurus head on. It looks like one of those big walkers in Star Wars. This would definitely be a case of its eyes are too big for its stomach a big mouth like that and a tiny little stomach. It does look like a little dog, doesn't it? It's got the little tail. Do you want to play fetch? What are we going to call this one? Well, it's basically just a Tyrannosaurus. How about a Tyrannosmallus? Let's call it Tyrannosmallus. So what do you guys think of mutant dinosaur number two, Tyrannosmallus? Okay, next mutant. Let's start with a nice blue Tyrannosaurus body. Let's keep the colour theme going, we'll put on some nice purple triceratops legs. We may as well go the triceratops head. It's a little bit plain. There we go, a flying triceratops with a Tyrannosaurus Rex torso. It's 
So what are we going to call this mutant dinosaur? It is part Triceratops, part Tyrannosaurus, and part Pteranodon. What about a Tyranoteraceratops? Tyranoteraceratops. That is a cool name. This particular mutant dinosaur may have a bit of an issue though because it has all the foraging instincts of a herbivore and the stomach of a carnivore. So I'm not sure how that will work out for it. Anyway, what do you guys think of the Tyranoteraceratops? Mutant dinosaur number four. Let's start with a Tyrannosaurus body again. We'll start with the bigger body. What about Indominus Rex legs? That's quite a terrifying combination. Instead of having little front claws, Let's give it Velociraptor legs as claws. And we might give it a Velociraptor head as well. That would be a pretty scary dinosaur. Actually even scarier, what about a Velociraptor at each end? Can you imagine having to ward off this dinosaur? An Indominus Rex head at each end of the dinosaur. That would be a very scary thought. Okay, so what are we going to call this mutant dinosaur? Well, it's got Tyrannosaurus in it, Indominus in it, a double Indominus, and it's got a bit of Velociraptor in it. I think it should end in Raptor. Two-headed Indominus Tyranoraptor. Either a two-headed or a double. Double Indominus Tyranoraptor. I think that could be it. A a double Indominus Tyranoraptor. So what do you guys think of Mutant Dinosaur number four? A double Indominus Tyranoraptor. Our next Mutant Dinosaur. Let's start with a Velociraptor torso. Let's put his real head on. What about a Velociraptor head as a leg? What about a Velociraptor head for all of the legs of this dinosaur? Wow, can you imagine encountering a Velociraptor with five heads? does have to waste a little bit of time walking on its heads. I've thought of a good way to counteract that. Imagine a flying five-headed Velociraptor. It could come down from the air to attack its prey. Quite a scary mutant to see. So what are we going to call this dinosaur? It is mostly a Velociraptor, so I'll have to
to call it some type of raptor. It does have pteranodon wings. I think terror. It would strike terror into anyone. A flying five-headed velociraptor. Terror raptor. Queen-headed terror raptor. A five-headed terror raptor. What do you guys think of mutant dinosaur number five, the five-headed Pteroraptor? Mutant number six, we're going to start with a Velociraptor body. Let's put these large Indominus Rex claws on. Actually. You've seen one of those crabs that have one nipper bigger than the other? This has got a super claw. Let's put a raptor leg on. What if it had another claw instead of a head? Without eyes, you could just randomly swing the claw in the dark to catch prey. Kind of like General Grievous flashing the lightsabers near Obi-Wan Kenobi. We may as well give this particular mutant some eyes. How about a Tyrannosaurus head? That's quite a lethal combination. So what are we going to call this mutant dinosaur? We have Velociraptor, Indominus and Tyrannosaurus. Tyranna Indominus Raptor. Can we get the swinging, a swinging, a swinging Indominus Tyranoraptor. Swinging Indominus Tyranoraptor. So what do you guys think of Mutant Dinosaur number 6? Maybe it could escape helicopter style. Let's start with a Triceratops body. Maybe... Keep the colour going. Let's go orange Dilophosaurus legs. Maybe some green Dilophosaurus legs. There we go. <laughs> and Indominus Rex head. Rex is like a famous name for a dog. Indominus Rex. <laughs> Digging Indominus Rex. Hey boy. I think this would be quite a fast moving dinosaur. Although its head is There we go, I like this one. So what are we going to call this one? It's got Dilophosaurus legs, Indominus Rex head and Triceratops body. It's always good to end on the Ceratops. It doesn't have three horns so we can definitely drop the, the Tri. Dominus Dilophoceratops. Got to have Rex in it because it's it's like a dog. Rex. What about the Indominus Dilophoceratops Rex? I like that one.
problem the Indominus Dilophoceratops rex may face is the stomach of a herbivore and the weapons of a carnivore. I can't imagine this particular dinosaur grazing the fields for grass, but it may have to. So what do you guys think of this one? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, comment below, subscribe to Press Play Picture House. Click on the links for more videos. See you next time.